Hey guys, Jeb here, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing video, and today it will be the new Astro A50 Generation 5 gaming headsets. Not to be confused with the A50X, this is actually Generation 5. Now, we will be comparing it against Gen 4 and the A50X so you can see what is different and who it's more made for. Thank you to Logitech for sponsoring this video. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and get right into the unboxing portion. Got a nice little cloth protector. I went with the white headset this go around. I believe it's going to stand out a little bit better against my background. Let's go ahead and set that down. Inside you are going to find the base station inside of its own box and all of the cables that you're going to need to use. If you do need assistance starting that up, there is a QR code that you can scan and it'll walk you through how to do things. Let's pull out the other two boxes. Set this down on the ground. So we're going to go ahead and open up this box which has your base station. It has a little bit of information inside, just some stats, how to assemble, things of that nature, more cloth covering to keep it protected. And it is a nice, clean base station. I don't think I've ever gone with the white versions of the A50s. I think I've always stuck with the black version. Uh, outside of the Astro ID uh, A40s, you can see over here on my wall, uh, I do have the white A50s this go around so it'll stand out a little bit better. Then you are also going to have all of your power adapters because there will be a cable that comes in the box that you'll be able to tie your base station in to have full power. Because this does have audio switching, it'll need a little bit more power. You have all the adapters based on whatever region you're in. That way, if you need to plug it into a non-American plug, you can easily do so. Then we're going to go ahead and open up the cable box here so we can show you the cables that come with this bad boy. You're going to get two. One's going to plug into the A50 system itself to your PC so you can manage it with the software. And the other one is for that extra power source. This is what it will look like. Now, we're gonna show you the difference between the new Astro A50 Gen 5 versus the A50X. And you're gonna notice it right off the bat. All we have to do is turn around the back side, and you'll see this one is all just USB-C on the back. You have your power input for supplemental power, and then you have your two different inputs for say Xbox and PS5. I believe you can also plug in your Switch if you want to as well. And then you have the port directed to your PC. Let's go ahead and bring up a side-by-side -side comparison in regards to this so you can actually see what we're talking about. Now with them in a side-by-side -side comparison, you can actually tell the difference right away. The A50X has both an HDMI and USB-C input. And it has like an internal switcher so you can determine what sets you're gonna send into the base station and then send out to your TV, whereas this is made for just switching audio. So if you have a lot of monitors and a lot of platforms and you like switching both all at once, the A50X base station is what you can use for it, whereas the A50 Gen 5 is mainly for switching up audio, kind of like in the old school days, almost like with the Astro A50 Gen 4s, of which we have right here as well. You'll be able to take a look at the back of this base station, you had the connection to the PC, you had a 3.5 millimeter input jack, you also had optical cable and then the USB uh, where you could plug in and maybe charge your phone or whatnot, or charge the headset itself. It was a little bit of a power source so you could keep her going. And then you also have the switch on the back, depending on what you had, whether it is PlayStation or PC or Xbox and PC, you could flip that switch on the back. But now with the newer headsets, you have the actual button on the side of the headphones where you could switch it in real time versus have to reach down find your base station, flick a switch, and get it to change over to whatever you want. Now, the Generation 5 still has the ability to connect to your phone while also using whatever audio source you're coming into. That way, if you have to do like Discord on your phone, because I know while Discord is trying to be implemented on consoles, it's not as good of a system, but if you'd like to have it on your phone connected to your headset while also your headset is connected to your PlayStation, your Switch, or your Xbox, it'll still all work the same. That way you can communicate with your friends. Now you're wondering, since it's the A50 Gen 5, how's the microphone still compare? Well, they actually kept the same microphone that's in the A50X and put it into the A50 Gen 5. So if you're worried about regressing with the microphone, no need to worry, that microphone quality is still there. And in a future video, I'm actually gonna take you through the ages with the microphones, comparing the A50 Gen 4s to the A50X to the A50 Gen 5s, that way you can actually see how it progresses over time and how clear it currently is. Leave a comment down below if you are looking forward to that or if you are wanting to see how that microphone has improved and maybe 
Has it even improved even more so from the A50X to the Gen 5? I'll let you actually hear it with your own ears. So that is the summary of our unboxing and comparison for the new Astro A50 Generation 5s. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and check out any links if you're looking to get your hands on this new Astro Gaming headset.